What's up guys, Hobo88 here, and welcome back to R Factor for some more dirt content. Um, last week, Caleb Nichols suggested, could you please do Kokomo Speedway in the non-wing sprint car, number 57 of Shane Cottle. Uh, I've jumped in and taken a look, I thought that sounded good, um, but Shane Cottle in here uh, is the number 27, so I don't know if that was a typo or if this is wrong, but uh, either way, uh, we found him just in a different number. So we're going to take this uh, this car out for a bit of a run at Kokomo Speedway. I've wanted to go back there since I did my uh, street stocks or whatever they are, hobby stocks video um, a few weeks ago. I've always wanted, I've wanted to go back there in a car that's a bit more powerful. So here we are, the number 27, Shane Cottle. Um, I've done a couple of things to the car. We're going to run it as a 410 sprint. Um... I've changed the wheel colours, I've added the rock guard, and that's about it. Um, track, Kokomo Speedway, and then we're going to do 17 AI drivers, 20 laps in the afternoon. Uh, the AI aggression, that'll we should be right with that at 80%. Uh, so let's load it up and let's go do some laps. Um, I have to say, I've wanted to go back here for a while. Sorry, it wasn't, it wasn't the super stocks, it was the, um, the late models that I ran here. Um, and I've wanted to come back ever since because it was a lot of fun and uh, I really enjoyed this track so here we are we'll uh, do a few practice laps see how the car handles beautiful I haven't even changed anything, but it feels pretty good. Quite used to the non-wing sprint car. A different drive. Very, very good fun. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Tea to a donut. A sprint car right there. Directly into the path of oncoming traffic. That's how it should be done. Trying to hold it around the bottom. Drive up off the turn. Car feels really gripped up actually, it's really good. It's kind of a weird sensation driving the uh, non winged version. You get this big understeer in the middle of the corner, and it's very, very loose on the entrance to the turn. But I think that that'll do. I might leave it at that. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect timing. <laughs> Let's just watch this for a for a second. These are very very fun. As always, Dirtworks Designs. Their content is very good. This is another one of their cars and tracks combinations. Uh, part of the 2016 track pack, Kokomo Speedway. And uh, the 410 sprint car, non-wing variety, part of their sprint car package. And uh, very authentic looking. Love the way that that's hiking the left front tyre, actually. That looks really good. Oh, that's fantastic. I could watch that all day. But we can't. Let's just quickly go in here and take a quick look. Uh, so the difficulty, everything turned off except for invulnerability. Um... Garage. Well, I haven't even changed anything, but I'm pretty happy with all that. Um, steering lock is maxed out. Leave the gearing as it is. It feels pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead. We'll skip to 
for the next session. Well, we'll skip qualifying as well to the race. And we're going to start from the back. Um, 20 laps. Should be good fun. We're going to go green here, I think. Green, 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 green. There we go. Whoa. Overcooked it already. It's all right. We haven't lost too much ground. Reel them back in. Oh. Not good. Not good. That's the end of your night if that was uh, real life. Knock the wheel off of there. But lucky for us, this is just a simulator. Try the bottom. Feels like the safe option. Whoa! Ah, oh, way over, way oversteered there. Very hard to drive. The problem with these sorts of cars, once you. Once you make a mistake like that, they're hard to drive when they're going slow. Very hard to drive when they're going slow. If you can keep the momentum up and get in a groove, they're pretty good. The second that you slow down, quite difficult to drive. Oh! Just click the wheels there on the way past. Beautiful. That's a nice line there, that was good. Oh! Got the wall. Again. Beautifully around the high line there. This is one of the tracks with a really good high line. I love. Starting to get into a bit of a rhythm here now. After a couple of bad laps to start. Nearly clipped the tyre marker on the infield. Nothing doing down the bottom. Let's go back to the top. Things just getting better and better. That high line is just exquisite. Certainly an allocated skill being able to drive open wheel cars without wings on the dirt. A lot of respect for the guys that race these sort of cars. Anything with open wheels and no wing on top. Something that tends to go upside down easily. Without anything to soften the blow when you go upside down. That's, uh, that's a manly thing. Tire marker. I got away with it. Don't like it down there though. I'm going back to the top. So right over the cushion. This is only going to be a short race, so we must be nearly out of laps. 20 laps around here isn't long. Let's see if we can catch and pass these two guys. Start to check out a little bit. Lead 
is going. Oh, that was beautiful around the top. That's how you do it. That's a chicken flag, though. We didn't get there, but we got to second. And I'm happy with that, considering how hard these things are to drive. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks very much, Caleb, for the suggestion. <laughs> As we spin out on the cooldown lap. Thanks very much, Caleb, for the suggestion. That was uh, that was a good one. These things are very hard to drive, so anytime you can have a decent race, that's uh, a good result. So uh, definitely enjoyed the challenge. Thanks for the suggestion. Let us know in the comments if you've got something you'd like to see. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.